welcome guys back to the channel. Welcome back. We've been gone for a hot minute. But we're back. We're back, guys. Mm -hmm. We're back. We were Okay, we just got some food here. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Miss Mama D. We got We've been gone for a minute. Like we've been missing you guys. Okay, we've been missing you guys. We've been missing everything about creating content for you guys. So we're back. We're yeah. back today. Better than every year. Back, 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 back. As you guys know by the title, um, life update, guys. Like, what are these, what are these guys? Like, you know, like, can I get some? I get some friends too. So, anyways, life update, guys. So, as you guys can tell by the title, life update. Why we left Ghana. So, unfortunately, guys, we're no longer in Ghana. So, I know a lot of you guys were following us because you wanted to know our journey transitioning from living in Canada to Ghana. But unfortunately, we're back in Canada. <laughs> aren't, you guys, aren't you guys sad? Nah. I've been here for a year now. I'm saying it's regular. You guys just came back what, like four or five months ago. We're, I'm sad. I'm really, really sad. That wasn't the plan. But today we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about why we left Ghana and what we're up to now and what you guys can expect from our channel. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Join the G5 family. Subscribe welcome to the family. Yeah. And if you're not new, welcome back. Hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. So anyways, and yes, guys, hit the link below. Link for, below for oh. Kelly Key's channel. Yeah, for my channel. You know what I'm saying? Start doing my content. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Started back, I, I got back from Ghana, and like I wasn't taking it serious at first, but then you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, let me try this, and you know, I have like what, like 10 views on my channel now. I got like, like views are hitting like 500 views, 600 views, yeah, 700 views, you know what I'm saying? Like, this channel's doing real good. It's doing, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, better video content than, yeah. Probably, you know what I'm saying, have more views by now. But well, if they good. subscribe to your yeah. channel, hit the link, you yeah, know, we're gonna put the link, in the description box. Hit the link, follow Cali K's channel, plugged in with KK. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, show some love to his channel, guys. Show some love, show some love here. Show some love to Cali give me to 200, give me the 200 subscribers. I need to. No, we're, trying, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. Well, for me, at least. I'm gonna get to 500. 500. You're, already, you're already at like 160, so we need a lot more than just 40 people to subscribe. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like we had to hit the first milestone. You know what I'm saying? Get that first milestone is 500. Well, that's a, yeah, that's a big milestone, but you gotta, you gotta be humble with it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you be like, we humble, you know we humble, we just like, you know? What are we doing? Oh. What are so, talking about today? Okay, so what we're talking about today is um, why we left Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I did do a video talking about it when I was in Ghana. I haven't posted it yet. I have, I have a lot of videos. If you guys are interested in kind of seeing our last couple weeks in Ghana, how we, you know, what we did before we left, I will still post these videos because I still have them. So let me know in the comment section. Do you guys want to see my our like last few weeks? Last yeah, last last few weeks I was vlogging. Yeah. yeah, as we were about to leave and so on and so forth. So if you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section below and I will post them. Why we laugh? So, anyways, I'm not trying to make this like a long story. Um, it's not a story time. Well, actually, it's kind of a story time. <laughs> it is, in a sense. It is, in a sense. So, why we left Ghana was because I feel like Ghana's uh, school system, their education system, it kind of failed me and my children. I feel like for myself, coming from Canada, going to Ghana, I would want my kids to go to an international school so they could um, be able to, you know what I mean, go to school that has like kind of like the same curriculum from where they're coming from. So, anyways, so these schools are very expensive. And when I say expensive, um, they're about 20,000 US dollars a year. So um, I had my other son, Makai, who's not here, who I didn't even mention, but okay, we'll get to that we part. Kicked him out of the we kicked him out of the group. <laughs> no, we didn't kick him out. He's not, he's not in the bills no more. He's not serious. He'd rather just play games all day and just stay in line. You know what I'm saying? He'd rather be a uh, sheep. Just watch it from the sidelines and be spectating. But it's okay though. Let him do his thing. Listen. YouTube is not really Makai's thing. Nah, but I'm so saying, if he doesn't want to, it's not just YouTube. It's just everything in general. Like when it comes to cameras, like he's just shy. yeah, he's shy like he your does. dad. He's shy. You guys, you got, dad don't like pictures. Your dad doesn't like the camera. He doesn't like. Doesn't like the he speech. has a reason. Kai doesn't have reason. What's his reason? <laughs> anyways, um, so yeah, so anyways, Makai doesn't like to be on camera. So that's why you kind of see just the three of us. Because he is no longer in the video, in the on the no longer in the channel. Is that how you say in the channel? Oh, part of the group. Put it out. 
but Prince is obviously part of the channel, but he's not here because he cannot sit still for more than like five minutes. Gee. Yeah, so Makai, I'll show, enter a picture. Oh, Makai, up here somewhere. He was going to the American International School. It cost me 10,000 for one semester. And I was like, NASA, I can't do this because if I gotta pay 10 grand for him, 10 grand for the next semester, I gotta pay how much grand for him? He wasn't even going to uh, international school. He was going to like a Ghana-based school. So it was a little bit more cheaper. It was a little bit more affordable, but he hated it. Like, you know what I mean? It was so hard for him to adapt to the Ghana-based school. So now his father and I decided we're gonna send him back and let him finish high school in Canada for free. Then me spend 20 grand for him to go to school for one year. 20 grand? Yeah, 10 grand each semester. That's crazy. I paid. You, you pay how much for like how, like how much was he going to school for it, the first semester? The first semester was 10, was 10 grand. 10, holy shit. <laughs> so I'm talking about guys, like, she should just want to get out by herself because the amount of money she spent shipping and education, she could have just let everybody stay here. I, I don't want you guys to stay here for what reason we're leaving. But, yeah, but this. look how much money you're spending. I know because you know I didn't do I didn't do my research and that's what you guys should do if you are planning to move to Ghana and y'all got kids do your research. You watch that? I need to go and do some research. You know they the schools like the real international schools are in U.S. dollars. They're very expensive, but they're very good schools. Though, but I just don't understand why people from outside of Ghana that want to live in Ghana that want to put their kids in good schools have to spend that much money. So we end up sending him back to go live with his dad. And I was there with just, you know, he was already gone at the time. He left first, Makai left second. It was just Xavier and Prince, you know, my last two kids. And Xavier was having a tough time in school, just adapting. Like he was going bouncing from school to school to school. Like it was really tough, right Xavier? Yeah. Like I felt like it was tough for you. Like what were some of your challenges with going to like a Ghana based school? So like first, I'm close I, like I didn't understand what the teacher was saying at all. Like when he was teaching stuff. I know the accent was strong. Yeah, and like when he when he gives like homework, it was like different from what I was learning like in Canada and stuff. But their 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 curriculum was so hard. Their yeah. curriculum is so difficult. Like guys, if you have your kids coming from the U.S. or whichever part of the world to go into Ghana, understand the curriculum is a lot more like it's a lot more difficult. It's not like out here. Like Xavier before he went to Ghana, he was excelling, doing well. He was getting A's. He went to Ghana, and it was a totally different story. And then, and then if you don't do the homework, they beat your ass. They beat really you. Bad. That's crap. They beat you up for real? <laughs> they beat you. It's not 2000, it's not 1999. It's, well, it's two, it was 2000, what year was it? You, you, you got beat? Xavier, Many times. Xavier thought he can go to school and not do his homework. He yeah. thought it's like out here. It was, it was, it was fight, Zero was fighting back, wasn't he? I know he was. <laughs> he was scared to fight back. Uh, fight back teacher, don't bust your ass. So FYI, they still beat kids. And they make you sit, like, if you get into trouble, they make you, like, kneel. They make you kneel down or something like that. Yeah. Put your hands up for the rest of the class. You don't do your homework. So you're kneeling. Okay, first of all, it's hot as shit because they don't have AC in the schools, right? Yeah. And then you got to kneel down, have your hands up, you're sweating. You know? <laughs> oh, how was your third day of school here? Good. I got him the cane today. What? But, like. Why did they hit you with the cane? Because I didn't pass the test because I didn't know it. I didn't know the answers. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So, they're hitting people with canes, right? So, I, me, and, me and my friends ran. And then we went, like, to the washroom. To and even they were writing in cursive writing. I remember having talked to his teacher about, like, Xavier can't read the board. It's in cursive writing. Like, oh, he will get it. He will get it. No, he won't get it. Like, can you guys write normal? Because we don't teach, like, the kids nowadays don't learn cursive writing. Like, not, like, our time. But we learned yeah, we it. learned cursive writing when I was, like, in school. So, like, elementary school, but it wasn't, like, your you know you needed to do it like when you're doing like tests and stuff like that or learning on the board yeah but i think i think your your generation was the last generation probably because i don't remember like if he learned in cursive writing when he was younger i did you did it but not him so now he goes again everything's cursive 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 so the so the the, the language barrier the, the the teachers weren't very supportive like they don't you want your money of course you yeah you're not there for like for caring and, and for you know being kind they want to get paid and go home and the thing is if you ask them for, for any extra help i asked the teacher i'm like can you help xavier after school for like half an hour he wants to charge me mm -hmm. top of all the school fees i already paid school fees yeah, and all yeah. this kind of shit i already paid i gotta pay more for you to spend half an hour on my kid i remember that he's barely i mean he actually he was pretty nice 
like the person that helped me, I remember, like I don't remember his name, but like I can remember the face. He helped me like a lot. Did he? Yeah, at least it's helpful. Um, and then on top of that, I felt like it was, it was hard for you to find genuine friends because I felt like a lot of your friends just wanted to be your friend because they thought you had money. They always wanted to ask you for money. Yeah. And then if you didn't give your, give any give them money, they would, what would they say to you? He said like they're not gonna be my friend if I don't give them money. Like what is that? What's you got and kids? Like you guys can just be friends with someone without like expecting them to give you money back? Like it doesn't work like that. So yeah. I felt like it was hard for him to but make all, genuine you're friends. In the, you're in the, you're in the, you put him in the trenches in school. So what do you expect? Like that's like you put him in the school in Finch or Driftwood. He's from the he's from the suburbs. He has all his nice clothes on. They're gonna obviously want to teeth his money. Like it's common sense. Well, they're kids. You would think kids are different. You would think kids are not what? like. Kids are the watching worst. stuff like that, they just actually want kids to be, kids, be your friend. Come on, the kids have social media, man. You want to see them kids? Yes, them kids. kids. Nowadays, everyone has social media. They're tapped in with social media. People that are in Africa. Are, are, I don't know, but I'm saying they're kids though. They're like 11, 10, 11 years old. Doesn't matter. It's a different generation. Anyways, you so have, you have social media when, when we were in his age. We didn't have nothing. Like the closest social, the closest thing we had to social media was Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like Vine that came out in like 2000, or like or like 2012, right, 13. And like that was the closest thing we had. It's like viral stuff and all that extra stuff that we have nowadays. But you know. that's basically why we left Gatos because more like the education system wasn't really doing like wasn't really working for my kids. So basically we sent I sent Makai back to say with his dad and graduation was approaching. He's like, Mom, you coming to my graduation? And I was just like, shit. I don't wanna leave Ghana, but I, I don't wanna miss his graduation. And then my mom was like, if you're going back to Canada, take Xavier with you, put him back in school because he's not doing well in Ghana school. Ghana is not the school for, is not where he needs to go to school. He needs to go back to Canada and go to school where he can excel and be successful. So I was like, fuck it, let me take my kids and go back to Canada. So we back. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Snow. We back. We so. Back. Better than ever, yeah. Yeah, so we weren't doing it. Oh my god, guys, we weren't doing any. We, 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 we another reason why we stopped doing content was because we got shadow banned. Remember? Shadow got, oh, yeah, remember? Well, for what reason? I don't know. Yeah, probably because you stopped doing like content. Uh, like Ghana content? Yeah, that's probably why. Because you're predominantly based your PO, your um, I, your address, IP, or IP address was in Ghana. So I guess the shadow banned you. I think uh, so. You're right, because when since we got monetized, we put in our new address in in, in here in Canada. And the, yeah, you and then shadow banned us. Yeah, Thought you're probably like a hacker or something like that. No, that's why I just we just moved, okay? So then we got, got shadow banned and then we were doing like a lot of research and people were like, reach out to YouTube, reach out to YouTube, and then people were like, okay, you know what, just take a break from YouTube, don't post anything. So we just said, okay, okay, we're not gonna post anything. So we didn't post anything for probably like a few months. And then we got kind of like I thought like we got lazy. We kinda got lazy as you, you guys got you know got you know Kelly Case in school, Makai's in school, you know, Xavier's back in school, I'm working, working night shifts, I'm a night nurse, so yeah, so like everyone's got busy, but no, we're back. We're back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're back. We're back. We're back. back. So, what are we going to be? Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to be our new content going forward. We're not going to do like Ghana content, obviously. Yeah, like Sorry, that. guys, to those who only tuned in because we we're in Ghana. But you guys will love our. You guys will love our new content. Like we're going to go back to doing good. I'm going to let Kali K take over. So what, we, what content are we going to be doing? Yeah. <laughs> like content wise. Um, I, we already talked about it, um, went over a couple of times of what exactly we want to do. We don't want to like minimize or categorize the channel to like one category when it comes to content. And like she, Mama D said, now she wants to do all type of content when it comes to skits and doing challenges and what else you want to do? Pranks. Pranks and like just you know like this variations of stuff that you see on YouTube that's trending right now. Like see, entertainment, uh, like fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Even that's you. We're see. not even gonna really be vlogging as much. It's more we're gonna just be doing like this fun stuff. Just stuff like that, like nothing too crazy, you know. Just we're gonna start off small, just doing like probably like little challenges and pranks and here and there, and just go from there and see how you guys react to it. If you guys are liking what we're doing, then we'll continue doing. It. If not, we're gonna change it up and go back to Ghana. <laughs> that, that's what we're I'm doing. Not I'm not okay, don't say we're never going back to Ghana because we are going back to Ghana. For those that are wondering if we're ever going back to Ghana, yes, we are going back to Ghana. I think I'm just gonna kind of wait it out till my kids, like you know, you guys are in college, Tavon and Xavier. Sorry, Tavon, Kelly, Kate, and Makai. I know I want to wait for. Xavier to hit high school, still in elementary school. I don't know. I'm gonna wait it out and see. But I'm not talking about Ghana right now. We're here, back in Canada, so we're talking about what we're doing currently. But never say never, because Ghana is our homeland, and our trend in like what Cali K said. Like we're we're about to do those things. You know what I mean? So guys, you guys tune in. Like guys, look forward to our videos, our new videos from Canada. 
you go guys you guys subscribe you know it really helps our channel when you guys subscribe yeah, you subscribe, guys comment yeah, subscribe subscribe and you know what i'm saying you might see some collaborations with you know people that i have on my channel that might you know add over to this channel and just you know if i do get opportunity somewhere to do more content which I'm, that's what the goal is to do that you might see people that's on my channel on this channel like you know what i'm saying just do a little something you know a little prank like they're saying like on you know one of these two people that you see in the video and like you know what i'm saying just you know what i'm saying you see some you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying simple stuff like that like you're gonna see content collaborations you know from channel to channel okay. if you guys are happy that we're back comment down below you're happy say no, i'm if happy you're, if you're happy <laughs> and you know it clap you your want, hands no 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 if you're happy <laughs> And you want to see us do more content, you want to really see us go up, and you really want to see us succeed in this YouTube stuff. Make sure we get 100 likes for this video. Like, you know what I'm saying? Drop, a, drop a like. Share the video your auntie, your grandma, your niece, your, your, your pastor. <laughs> I love your pastor. Tim Chris, I'll hear that. You know what I'm saying? There is a lot of content creators, but when it comes to YouTube, I don't think there's a lot like, that are really consistent with trying to, you know? Yeah, I'll come back and be more consistent. Hey, you don't let them down. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you guys subscribe to Plug No Kick, you see what I do. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We gotta see Mama D really proud for you. You know what I'm saying? I wanna see, you know what I'm saying? I wanna see stuff that comes from me. Because if you guys see on my channel, if you guys subscribe to my channel, you guys will see I've been going crazy. Like, it's like vibing out differently, going different places, all type of stuff. Like, I've been going buck wild. Like, I, I was the one motivating your ass, boy. Yeah, yeah you're motivating me and like, kept did telling it. him, like, you know, get back on your YouTube shit. Like, I, you're never, good at I, I was never really on it. I just did it. I was just, you know, try to do the thing and then I did it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching our video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. We know you guys who are sharing. We know you guys are liking. We mm -hmm. see you. We know who's commenting. So Shout out to all our Ghana viewers. All, all right. All right. Hey, Ghana full. Ghana full. We miss you, know you guys. You know guys know in Ghana. Saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You guys keep, you know, liking the video, subscribing, you know what I'm saying? Share the video with everybody in, you know, Ghana. And if you're in the UK and the States, anybody, you know, who's watching around the world, you know what I'm saying? Just. Help us out by subscribing and sharing the video, you know what I'm saying? It definitely helps the algorithm for our videos to go up. That's it, guys. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Anything else, guys, say? No, I'm, I'm good. What about, what about, what about Tell, bear? What about bear. bear. <laughs> oh, they want to say to Desmond. <laughs> Who's Desmond? Desmond was, like, his one of his good friends in Ghana. Oh. He was actually, like, a genuine good friend, but he oh. kind of dissed him, though. Does he want what? Money? You dissed him. What, dude? Let's be real. I never dissed him. We he, just, he would call I just you and want to hang out with you, and he'd call you and want to hang out with you, and then you'd be like, I'm not here, don't tell him I'm not here, tell him I'm not yeah, here. Yeah, that's crazy. That's shady as hell. But no, it's not. He just lives too far. I have to change schools. He lives way too far. Anyways, but, guys, uh, it is what it is. We out. So stay tuned to the next video. Miss Mama D. And guys, subscribe to you. Prince's channel. Prince has a channel as well. I will drop the description below. Anyways, guys, love you guys. See you in the next video. Deuces. Clear out. Out. <laughs>